Hi guys, in the previous lecture, that is the lecture number 15A, we have solved some problem based on single phase full wave rectifier that has been asked in gate exam from 1991 to 2008. Now in this lecture, that is the lecture number 15B, we will see gate previous year problem from gate 2009 to 2017 okay so let us move to the first problem in the first problem it is saying the fully controlled thyristor converter this is the single phase full wave bridge rectifier is fed from single phase source firing angle when firing angle is zero when alpha is equal to zero then the dc output voltage of converter is 300 volt when alpha is equal to zero then v naught i am getting that is equal to 300 volt okay now what will be the output voltage when the alpha a will be 60 degree when alpha is equal to 60 then what will be the output voltage we know that in single phase full bridge converter output voltage what is the formula of output voltage output voltage is equal to 2 vm upon pi into cos alpha okay so in this case 2 vm upon pi into cos 0 is equal to 300 volt okay and in this case 2 vm upon pi into cos 60 that is equal to v we have to find this v naught so let us say this is equation second and this is equation first so divide equation second by equation first you will get v naught by 300 is equal to cos 60 by cos 0 okay so v naught will come out to be 1 by 2 into 300 that is equal to 150 volt that is option a is correct see the next problem the figure shows the circuit of rectifier fed from 230 volt 50 hertz sinusoidal voltage source if we want to replace the current source with a resistor this is a current source with a resistor so that the RMS value of current supplied by the voltage source remains unchanged. Then what will be the value of resistance? What we are doing? We are replacing this current source. This is current source of 10 ampere with resistance R such that the RMS value of source current. See the RMS value of current supplied by the voltage source. So RMS value of source current means this will remain unchanged after inserting resistor in place of this 10 ampere current source means here i naught rms must be equal to 10 ampere and we know that in single phase full converter is rms is equal to i naught rms that is equal to 10 ampere so what will be the value of output resistance r this we have to find so what r is equal to v naught rms upon i naught rms i can write like this okay and v naught rms in single phase full bridge rectifier is nothing but vm by root 2 upon i naught rms is given that is equal to 10 ampere if 10 ampere will flow then only we can replace this current source by resistor this is nothing but substitution theorem in network if you have studied the substitution theorem in network then you can easily understand to remove this 10 ampere current source we must insert a resistor r such that the other parameter will not change means the the source current will remain unchanged output rms current will remain out unchanged also output voltage will remain unchanged then only we can substitute this 10 ampere current source by resistance r okay so i naught rms before it was 10 so after it must be equal to 10 only only and this vm by root 2 is equal to 230 root 2 by root 2 upon 10 that you will get 23 ohm let us move to the next question a fully controlled converter this is fully controlled converter fits highly inductive load means load current is constant if in question it is saying that highly inductive load means we have to assume load current to be constant the input supply vs to the bridge is sinusoidal source triggering angle of the bridge converter alpha is given as 30 degree the input power factor is what so we have derived in lecture number 12 input power factor is nothing but g into fundamental displacement factor and we got g is equal to 2 root 2 upon pi into fundamental displacement factor that is equal to cos alpha okay alpha here given that is equal to 30 degree so 2 root 2 upon pi this is root 2 into cos 30 you will get 0.78 say this is repeated question same question is asked in gate 2008 for two marks and it is repeated in gate 2014 set 2 same question answer there also i was getting 0.78 we have derived these questions in the previous lecture so you can see that the question is repeating okay 
now let us move to the next question in the given rectifier the delay angle of thyristor t1 measured from positing going zero crossing is equal to 30 degree means alpha is given as 30 degree if the input voltage vs is equal to this much means vm sin omega t then the average voltage across r will be what see this is not the conventional rectifier here three diode is connected and only one thyristor is connected to form a bridge so we have to find the output voltage by plotting the waveform let us say this is supply voltage vs is equal to vm sin omega t. let us say this is omega t now output voltage how the output voltage i will get see here this t1 is triggered at an angle of alpha means at an angle at an angle of alpha this is alpha is equal to 30 degree this t1 is triggered so the moment when you trigger this th uh, thyristor t1 then t1 d2 will start conducting so from alpha to pi which one is conduct t1 and d2 and it will continue to conduct till pi so from alpha to pi output voltage will follow the input voltage like this okay after pi supply voltage is going to be reverse so the moment when you reverse this supply voltage this d3 will start conducting and d4 will start conducting okay and t1 d2 will stop conducting so it will follow minus vm sin omega t like this so from alpha to pi t1 d2 will conduct and from pi to 2 pi d3 d4 will conduct okay and it will follow the negative of supply voltage like this this is from pi to 2 pi so i will get output voltage from alpha to pi and from pi to 2 pi so what will be the average output voltage the average output voltage i will get that is equal to time period is 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi alpha to pi vm sin omega t plus pi to 2 pi minus vm sin omega t okay so it will be 1 upon 2 pi vm is 100 alpha to pi sin omega t d omega t minus 100 pi to 2 pi sin omega t d omega t put alpha is equal to 30 degree and integrate this you will get v naught average is equal to 61.529 okay in this way we can find the output voltage when any kind of bridge rectifier is given let us move to the next problem a single phase thyristor bridge rectifier is fed from 230 volt 50 hertz single phase AC means it is delivering a constant DC current of 10 ampere I naught is equal to 10 ampere at firing angle alpha is equal to 30 degree then the value of power factor of AC means means we have to find the input power factor so what is the input power factor of single phase full converter this is nothing but G into fundamental displacement factor g is coming out to be 2 root 2 upon pi and fundamental displacement factor is equal to cos alpha alpha is equal to 30 degree put alpha is equal to 30 degree you will get 0.78 see this question has been repeated thrice in gate 2008 in gate 2014 in set 2 and in gate 2016 in set 1 so input power factor of single phase full wave converter is very 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 important understand this question has been repeated three times without any change in value in all the three questions i am getting input power factor that is equal to 0.78 understood and the concept has been discussed in lecture number 12 that is a single phase full wave converter and its harmonic analysis okay now let us move to the next problem see this is also a repeated question see here a full breeze converter supplying rle load and load is connected like this see the polarity of emf the polarity of emf is from minus to plus means this is delivering power whenever the emf polarity is like this minus to plus then it is del delivering power to source if the polarity of emf is like this r l and e means this load is acting like a motor so in this case it is absorbing power but here r l e connected like this means it is delivering power okay this this concept has been discussed in earlier question and here it is said that the firing angle of the breeze converter is 120 degree so alpha is 120 degree that is greater than 90 so in this case v naught will be negative and v naught will be negative i naught will flow in this direction only i naught cannot reverse so overall power output output power i will get that is the negative 
here I, it is also saying that inductor L is large enough to make the output current smooth and DC I not is constant switches are lossless the real power fed back to the source how much power is this fading back to the source we have to find are you getting me here what will the output voltage V naught is equal to 2 Vm upon pi into cos alpha cos 120 put Vm Vm is given that is equal to 200 volts so 2 into 200 upon pi into cos 120 that is equal to minus 200 volt now apply kvl here this is v naught so v naught is equal to i naught r minus e so i naught i will get that is equal to v naught plus e upon r v naught is equal to minus 200 plus e e is equal to 800 upon r is 20 that is equal to 600 by 20 that is equal to 30 ampere okay so what will be the real power fed back to the supply p naught is equal to v naught into i naught that is equal to 200 into 30 that is equal to 6000 watt that is 6 kilowatt here in kilowatt it is asked so answer would be 6 kilowatt see here don't take this negative what do you mean what does this negative signify this negative signify that real power is fading back to the supply and it is asked that the real power fed back to the source means this negative is already included in this question okay so no need to take output power that is in negative you should take this uh, output power in positive because here it is asked the real power fed back to the source means this negative is already taken care by this sentence got it that's why take output power in positive now see the next problem a single phase bi-directional voltage source converter bi-directional means current can reverse here bi-directional switch is connected means current can reverse its direction so in figure all devices are ideal it is used to charge a battery of 400 volt this is a battery of 400 volt and this converter is used to charge this battery with power of 5 kilo out what means output power is given that is equal to 5 kilowatt from a source vs is equal to 220 volt rms at unity power factor means power factor is unity if its ac size interfacing inductor ls that is equal to 5 milli henry and the switch are operated at 20 kilohertz with a phase shift of delta this is the phase shift of delta in between vc1 vc1 is the output voltage and vs is the supply voltage okay between ac means and fundamental ac rms voltage source vc1 in degree age means we have to find this delta delta will be what see here output power is given that is equal to 5 kilowatt and it is said that input supply means at unity power factor so we can say that in all type of converter that is a lossless converter input power must be equal to output power okay so we can write vs is cos phi that is equal to output power is given that is equal to 5000 here cos phi is unity already it is given in the question so cos phi take is equal to 1 so is i will get that is equal to 5000 upon vs vs is equal to 220 that is equal to 22.72 so once i got the is the value of is then i can easily find delta see here what is tan delta tan delta is equal to is into xs upon this is vs tan delta is equal to perpendicular upon base this is equal to tan delta now is is equal to we have already find 22.7 omega l omega is equal to 2 pi into 50 f is equal to 50 hertz so 50 into l l is equal to 5 milli henry 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon vs is equal to 220 so finally delta you will get that is equal to 9.21 degree okay in this way we can find delta this has been asked in gate 2016 in set 2 now see the last problem that has been asked in gate 2017 for two marks see here the figure shows the circuit diagram of controlled rectifier this is symmetrical configuration semi-converter with symmetrical configuration and here one free wheeling diode is also attached this is extra so we can say that symmetrical configuration plus one free wheeling diode okay so figure shows below a circuit diagram of control rectifier supplied from 230 volt 50 hertz single phase voltage source and 
transformer receive is 10 is to 1 ideal transformer assume that all device are ideal the firing angle of the thyristor t1 t2 are 90 and 270 alpha is given as 90 degree for t1 and for t2 it is 270 the rms value of current through diode d3 means we have to find the how much current is flowing how much rms value of current is flowing in from this diode d3 see in symmetrical configuration if i'll have to make the output voltage waveform then output voltage waveform will look like this let us say this is supply voltage that is equal to vm sin omega t okay now this is triggered at an angle of alpha t1 is triggering at an angle of alpha that is equal to 90 degree like this so this is alpha is equal to 90 degree then the moment when t1 will trigger then the, in this case t1 d2 t1 d2 will conduct okay and output voltage will follow the input voltage this concept has been discussed in lecture number 13a that is symmetrical configuration so in this case t1 d2 will it starts conducting an output voltage i will get that is equal to supply voltage what will happen after pi after pi this t3 this is let us say this is t2 so after pi t2 is not triggered t2 is not triggered then in that case this t1 d1 let us say this is d1 and this is d2 so after pi since t2 is not triggered means t1 d2 after pi since t2 is not triggered means t1 d2 free wheels this concept has been discussed in lecture number 13 so after pi t1 d2 will free wheels and it will free wheels till t2 is not triggered the moment when you trigger this t2 t2 is triggered at 270 degree so the moment when you trigger this t2 then t2 d1 will start conducting from 270 degree and it will follow the supply negative supply voltage like this this is 2 pi and this is 270 degree so from 270 to 360 t2 d1 will conduct from alpha to pi t1 d2 will conduct and from pi to 270 this t1 d1 free wheels okay this concept has been discussed in lecture number 13a so this is t1 d1 so we are not getting for any angle the conduction angle of this diode d3 d3 is not conducting for any angle okay so what will be the current value the i d3 will be zero so answer will be zero ampere got it this has been asked in gate 2017 for two marks only you have to plot the waveform and see the for what angle this d3 is conducting so we found that d3 is not conducting for any angle because of this free wheeling action t1 d1 free wheels is it fine so in this way we have covered all the previous year problem that has been asked from 1991 to 2017 based on single phase full wave rectifier okay in the next lecture we will start that is the lecture number 16 we will start three phase rectifier so we will start three phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier that is the lecture number 16a if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and subscribe to this channel for doubt solving you can join our facebook group thanks for watching this video